Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to this segment of WorkflowCon. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Hi, 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 everyone. Okay, I'm excited about this segment, right? Um, WorkflowCon has been amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, I need you to tell me in the chat, give me one word to describe how WorkflowCon has been for you so far. Just one word. Now, if you give me two words, you're wrong. If you give me three words, you are absolutely wrong. Just one word. I'm seeing informative, enlightening, helpful, amazing, inspiring, engaging, amazing. Now, there's just one word to describe this next segment of WorkflowCon, and that's funny, right? Now, I'm going to, this, this segment is the comedy session. I'm going to be the comedian. I'm going to be cracking jokes on jokes. I'm going to be making you laugh, you fall off your chairs. Now, my friends will know me, my colleagues will know me, will say, Tosi, no, please, Tosi, no, don't do this, no. They don't believe that I'm funny, but I'm going to be the comedian. I am going to be the one making you laugh and laugh off your heads this afternoon. If you don't believe me, you'll see, because the reason why you don't believe me is because you don't know that I have an hidden talent as a, as a comedian. I used to be a comedian in my former life. Well, um, in my dream, in my dream. So um, definitely not going to be the comedian today. Um, but I, I wish I could, like, why can't I? Why can't I? Is it because I'm, I'm a marketer? Like, I can be the comedian. But you know what? I think I'm going to stick to my career in marketing. That's what I know. And then maybe sometime in the future, I'll be able to be, the, be a comedian. So um, our next segment, as I said earlier, is the comedy session. And by, I'm going to be inviting the comedian up. However, he told me, he said, Tosin, I am not going to come up on stage if I don't have at least 10 people join me on stage. That was what he told me. This is not on me. This is not my fault. This is not something I, I came up with. That was what he told me. And I told him, I said, say no more. Accountants and bookkeepers are the most fun people you would ever meet. Before, I, before you say, before you ask, 20 people would have joined the stage. So if you'd like to join our comedian on stage, turn on your camera, respond to him, make him feel like, you know, what he's saying is making sense to you. We want to see you laugh. We want to see you fall off your chairs. We want to see you roll on the floor, if it's that funny, hopefully. <laughs> If you would like to join him on stage, raise your hands and I'm going to bring you up on stage right now. And then as soon as I have as many people as he has requested, um, <laughs> Roman said he's going to volunteer as tribute if needed. Oh my God. So raise your hands and I'll bring you on stage to join our comedian today. He's not going to be, um, he's not going to be using you as like one of your subjects or anything. You're just going to be you know, going to turn on your camera and respond to him as he cracks his joke. Now, who is our comedian for today? His name is Joe Larson. Joe is um, Joe is um, is a comedian who has been seen on Gotham Comedy, and he was a writer for Weekend Updates. He has actually been on the Tonight Show and America's Got Talent, and he's with us today to crack us up and make us laugh. So we'll follow off our seats. I'm already seeing people volunteering to join the stage. So I'm bringing you up. I have some people on the backstage. I have Davida. I have Rachel. Anybody else want to join the stage? I say Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. I mean, thank you for joining. Thank you for responding. I'm seeing more people raising their hands. This is going to be fun. I wish I was going to be the comedian, but you don't believe in me. You don't believe in me. So I'm going to hand it over to the real comedian here. And that's Joe. Joe, welcome on stage. Hi, Joe. OK, I see he's um, trying to join. While we wait for Joe to join, maybe I should crack one or two jokes so you, you guys will believe how funny I am. Um. Hi, Joe. Well, let me turn my mic again. <laughs> okay. Joe, can you see us? All okay. right. It won't let me turn on my hand count. All right. There we go. Joe. Now, now is it letting me speak? 
Is it letting me speak now? Yes. Hello? Yes. Nothing. You got, oh, we got it. Okay. All right. There we go. Hey, guys. <laughs> Little technical difficulties. Uh, very exciting to be here with you guys. Uh, give Tosin a round of applause. That was incredible. You guys, it's rare that you see somebody that very funny. Uh, yes, absolutely. Now, if you are in uh, my little virtual stage, here's what I want you to do. I want you to turn on your mics, turn on your cameras. This is not like a standard business meeting. I want you to laugh. I want you to have a good time. We're going to enjoy ourselves. That's right. Uh, this is very exciting for me. I, I have been, uh, I was a writer for Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live. I've been on Tonight's Show, and I've been on America's Got Talent. But I'm here on Zoom because none of those things worked out. It's, uh, no, this, is, this is very exciting to be here with you guys. I was looking into this uh, workflow con, and let me tell you, you have some pretty fantastic uh, uh, courses. Of course, there's optimizing your schedule for a 15-hour week, uh, how to have meaningful growth, uh, and a balanced, fulfilling life, uh, how to avoid crazy business seasons. Apparently, everything here is just how to not do the job you do. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, how do you get out of work? I, as a comedian, I feel like I'm pretty well versed in a 15 hour work week. Actually, I don't think I've ever worked a full 15 hours. Uh, not at all. Not even close. Maybe three. Uh, this is this is about as close to to work as I get. Oh, that's great. I love it. They can tell me who left this. And then. Is there a delay or is this just, or am I bombing? We're going to find out. <laughs> it was a delay. It's a delay? That's even better. <laughs> How was the show? Good. <laughs> Did it start on time? No. <laughs> this is, you guys, I mean this when I say this. You guys are the best audience on this call right now. Uh, we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna keep saying that till I believe it. This is uh, this is a blast. This is fun. I uh, I just turned 40. Is anybody in their 40s on my virtual stage? No, no children, no. babies. Oh, Raquel, thank you, Genzies. thank you, thank you for admitting it. It's hard. It's not easy to admit it, but it's it's hard. Yeah, 40s have been rough. A couple things have happened in my 40s that surprised me. Uh, the most surprising thing happened was uh, now my favorite brand of clothing is Kirkland Signature. I didn't see that coming at all. I don't know. Are you Costco <laughs> people? Costco? Yeah, I see. Totally. It. Yeah, I love a Costco. It's it's a weird building, isn't it? Outside of that building, you're a completely rational human being making normal decisions anyone would make. You walk through those doors, you start to make decisions you would never make outside of that building. <laughs> 18 gallons of mayo. Yeah, put it in the cart. <laughs> I, I saw a brick of cheese the size of a car battery. <laughs> Expiration date said three weeks, and I was like, it's go time. Let's do this. <laughs> I haven't pooped in a month and a half, but I finished it. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the money I saved on toilet paper alone, that store is incredible. I love everything about it. <laughs> they even have different math in that building. Right? You want a hot dog? Buck fifty. Yeah. You want four hundred and eighty-six of them? Three dollars. How'd you yes. do that, Costco? It's amazing. It's the most American place on the planet. I don't know if we have anybody here not from America, but if you want to show somebody what America is all about, do not take them to the Statue of Liberty or the Liberty Bell. Take them immediately to your nearest Costco. It's the most American place on the planet. Just like America it has everything. You want a palette of mini quiche? A kayak and an eye exam. <laughs> you can get a green card. You're not an American until you get a Costco card. That's the moment it happens. <laughs> Forty has been brutal. I'm starting to lose. I don't know if you can tell this. I'm losing the hair on top of my head is going away, but my eyebrows are growing at a rate that should be studied by science. I am. I'm not even losing my hair. It's just moving south. These things are intense. <laughs> If I lose all of this hair, I'm just going to throw these guys right over the top. That's what I'm going to do. I, ah, it's been a rough one, that's for certain. I, I now get hung over from non-drinking things, too. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Davida. Yeah, it's brutal. The other day, I woke up. I looked terrible. My face was all puffy. I had a headache, dry mouth. My wife was like, what's wrong with you? Were you drinking all night? And I was like, no, uh, dairy. I had dairy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, your relationship with dairy changes dramatically. I, I, all of my relationships are changed. I'm married. I'm married, man. I'm married for um, 12 years now, which means statistically we're we're almost done, and you know wrapping it up. And it's been a it's been a good ride. <laughs> my wife proposed to me, uh, which is non-traditional. A lot of people love uh, are, are surprised to hear that my wife actually propo proposed to me, but it was. Uh, very romantic. I remember like it was yesterday. She uh, she came up to me one night and she was like, I'm pregnant. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I never thought you'd ask. Oh, I feel so special. <laughs> it's been a wild ride. So we, we, have, uh, we have two kids and I am terrified of them. That, that's what's changed about parenting. I don't know. Like, I was afraid of my dad. Were you guys afraid of your dads? Yeah, dads were scary. Now dads are not scared. Now I'm not, like, my dad was the man of the house. If my dad's getting the stroller, you got in the stroller immediately. You know, I'm more of like a used car salesman. I'm like, what's it going to take to get you into this stroller? <laughs> what kind of bribes are we working with? I, I, I think it, here's the pro. I think the problem is, is I raised two kids in Brooklyn and they're just tougher than me, right? Like we got an elf on a shelf last year, and here's how we described elf on a shelf. We said this is elf on a shelf. What he's gonna do is he's gonna sit on your shelf and he's gonna watch all the things you do, all the good things and all the bad things. And at night when you're sleeping, he's gonna fly back to the North Pole and report back to Santa. So you better be good. And then I said good night. I shut the door. And then I woke up in the morning and elf was no longer on a shelf, but there was pieces of elf all over the room. And I turned to my seven-year-old, I go, what happened to elf on a shelf? And she goes, snitches get stitches. This is Brooklyn. Bam. Um, oh. <laughs> How are you going to discipline that? I started to clean it up. She goes, no, 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 leave it as a message. What? what John Gotti child am I raising? Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifying. It is. It's wonderful, though. I do enjoy being married. My wife does this. She dresses me. Uh, she doesn't do it the normal way, though, telling me what to wear. She just tells me what not to wear. And if I keep wearing it, it disappears. <laughs> yeah. Like a month ago, mm -hmm. I had this green hat. She was like, I don't mm -hmm. like it when we wear that green hat two days later. God. I can see some of you nodding along. You've done this, obviously. Yeah, I know. A couple two weeks ago, I was wearing this uh, pair of jeans with a rip in them. She was like, "You look like trash when you wear those jeans with a rip in them." Two days later, missing. <laughs> I know. Yesterday, she was like, "I don't like your friend Eric." I was like, "Dude, you got to move. You got to get out of here. She's coming for you." Based on my hat and my pants, you got two days. Run. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh no! Is it already two forty? Tosin, we have a couple more minutes, or we got to wrap it up. We have to wrap it up. Actually. We have to wrap it up. Well, ladies and gents, uh, and Tosin, thank you so much. Let me tell you, that was one of the best intros I've ever got. Uh, come on the road with me. You want to come on the road with me? I'm yeah. in Philly next week. You want to go to Philly? Let's go to Philly. All right, you guys, look for look out look out online for Joe Larson and Tosin Thomas uh, touring the country. It's going to be a great show. It's very exciting. Uh, I have <laughs> terrible marketing myself, so we're going to have Tosin do the bulk of the marketing. It's, uh, it's been a real pleasure. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for having me be a part of your afternoon. It was a pleasure. Thank you. I'm, I'm missing my uh, pants with holes, too. <laughs> <laughs> my rib jeans are gone. Oh, no. <laughs> my rib jeans are gone. They're out of style. That's what my wife says. They're out of style. <laughs> you got to get rid of them. I'm always, at, I'm always at the end of the bell curve.